everyone welcome to this channel once again this is your guy fellas bliss today i'm going to show you how i created this baby wish our renowned or well-known minister of god okay this man has been a great vessel to everyone in this world and today i'm designing this baby flyer to wish him on this channel and i'm showing you how i did this in photoshop that much i do less that so the first thing i would do is i'll go in for my background image okay so i'm using this particular image for my design you can get all the images in the description as usual so follow the descriptions and download there's no password on it so make sure you subscribe to this channel for us and then like our videos as well so from here what i'll do is i'll just scratch to make this one fit everything here Something like this. Okay. Let me reduce the size to see. Then I will bring it down small like this. Then I'll position this. I'll stretch this one small. So what I will do next is I will create a shape here. Okay, a rectangle shape. We are going to use that shape uh, for different things. So I will create a rectangle here. So the rectangle, I will drag it over here. Then what I'll do is, I want this rectangle color to match this particular color here. So I'll go in for my gradient, okay. Then I'll change the color of black to the darkest part here. Then I'll change the white, okay, to this color. Then I'll change the blend, this one, to radia. Reverse the action. Then increase the scale. Now from here we have something like this. Okay, but you can see that the rectangle we created has two hard area here. So what I will do is let me zoom in. Then what I will do here right now is I'll create a mask. Okay, so I'll create a mask here. Then go for the brush to reduce the size. Then. I will take away these edges but before i take the edges i will go in for a marquee tool to select the edges so that i don't select it i want it to look well so i'll go in again for the brush then i will start so when i start to brush it will not move to the side it will only brush this area so when i'm brushing i'm not going to brush down here i'll start from here okay i want to take away the hard edge if yours is set to black set if yours is set to white set to black So I'll remove the hardness, then I'll deselect it. You can see that there is more hardness stored there because I selected it. So I'll just set the opacity to 50. Okay, so press 5. You can see that the opacity is set to 50. Then I'll brush over that area, that hard surface. Like this. So just Work around so that you get everything fit, okay? Something like this. So we have something like this. So what we are going to do right now is we are going to add our picture. But before we add our picture, you can see that you can just place the picture in here, okay? The picture has to match this. And if you want to do that too, there is a light here and we don't want to distort that light. So what we are going to do now is we will create an ellipse, okay? You have watched my birthday video on that i've created a similar birthday video you can click on the top there to watch it so just create the lips now stretch it to fit okay now we have something like this okay so what we're going to do now is this particular shape is going to accommodate our picture. So I'll just bring Minister the keyword here. I like this man. I like his preaching and everything. That's why I'm creating this birthday flyer to wish him. So you can also do the same to wish great people. So he's very great 
and I tap in place anointing. So what I will do right now is I will clip this picture in here. Okay. Then what I will do is I will convert this picture to black and white. Then the black and white, I need to clip it to the image. Something like this. So from here, you can see that we are still don't have the light on the image. We want to get the lights, okay, on the image. To do that, make a copy of that, uh, the background image that we brought in. Make a copy of that. Okay, then drop it over the black and white. Then change the blend mode to lighten. Something like this. Now you can see that we have the lighting on the image. We have it on the image. Now what we are going to do is create a mask of that. Then remove the area you don't want to. So, you can use the marquee tool if the area is too big for you. Use the marquee tool, okay? So I'll use the marquee tool to select the whole of this area. Then I'll press on backspace to delete it. If this one is set to black, set it to white, then hit backspace. Then it is gone. Now let's go in again. It is and then remove the part you don't want. So I'll go in for brush. I'll set the opacity to 100. Then I'll increase my brush size. Change the color to black. Then I'll take away the area I don't want. So, what I'll do is, here yeah, looks too white, so I'll just remove it. I just need the light on the image, okay? Now, we are done with so what we are going to do now is we are going to add the birthday and then add the name. So I'll bring in this happy birthday test. So after bringing this happy birthday test, you can see that the color here is black and we can't use black on black. So what we will do is we need to change the color to gold or change it to white. So to do that, what we need, sorry, let's go in for the magic one two, then select the region. So we have selected all the white, okay? We need to select inner of this test. Let's zoom in. Then let's select again. So I'm selecting this particular area, okay? Select them, then select again. You need to take your time to do this. So now make a mask of that, then invest the mask. So Alt, Control, Shift, Control, I for invest. Select the white area which were now removed. Okay. So if you're doing this, you need to take your time, then hit the backspace. Do the same for this area, hit the backspace. Make sure this one is set to white, hit the backspace. Then it is deleted but you can see that we still have this white area so even if you apply our lay gradient on it it will still affect it so what we need to do is we need to go in again so we we'll select this then go to image sorry select then go to color range Now, in my color range, I've set to the fastness to 130, so I can set it to 135. Then you can see that the white is removed, so, okay. Control puzzle. Now, look at this is what we have, okay? So, from here, what we are going to do now is we need to create a gradient, okay? Now, gradient, I want us to create something like a gold. So I'll right click on this one, go to blending option and change in the color gradient overlay. Okay, so I'll change the gradient overlay to gold. Let's see if I have gold already made here. Yeah, I have some here. So I can use this or this. Okay, so or this. So depending on the one you want, okay. So you can use this. You can give it an outer glow. When you are done. So 
So we can give it outer glow. And then the outer glow, we can set it as gradient and then sample these colors. So we can change from screen to normal, I see. And decrease the size. Then we can give it a drop shadow. Let's take away the outer glow and see something and give it a shadow. Then we can reduce the size of the shadow to something like this. Now let's change the shadow to gold. We have something like this. We can also add inner shadow or we can maintain it this way. So a big birthday. But if you think this one is not nice, you can also use color overlay and then we can set our color to white. Then take away the drop shadow. Okay. So we have something like this. Okay. So from here, we can work on this particular shape. It seems it is too hard again. So we can just work on it. We have something like this so happy birthday then from here let's see let's go in again and see okay so we can add his name to it so happy birthday then we add his name so the name is Doug. let's add some title so the title you can say minister okay minister then i'll change the color to white from here what i will do is i'll just increase the size of the test So this is how you can create this birthday flyer and let's hear from you. Hit the like button, subscribe and let's do more for you. Thank you for staying with me. My name is Felix Blitz.